Welcome to Five Star Marine, an RYA recognised training centre. This short video has been designed to show you what happens on an RYA sea survival course. It's not intended for instruction purposes. Here you see the life rope raft being thrown into the pool and self-inflating as it would do when thrown off the back of a boat. Here the roof with the gas blowing into it pops up. And the students climbing aboard. It's always preferable to climb into the life raft rather than going into the water. But as we say, it's better to step up into the life raft rather than down into the raft. The RYA Sea Survival Course is designed for all small craft users. The importance of having the knowledge to survive if you end up in an emergency situation at sea is crucial. It's a proven fact that people with appropriate training are more likely to survive. Life rafts, the equipment they contain and survival techniques form the central part of the Sea Survival Course. You will be taught about how to launch rafts, what the initial and subsequent actions in a raft are, and receive some sound advice on longer term survival. Other topics covered include design of life jackets, hypothermia and search and rescue techniques. The RYA Sea Survival Course starts off with a theory based classroom session and then followed by a two hour practical session which you can see here in a pool. We encourage students to bring their own equipment and life jackets so they know exactly how it feels. Here we see students being told that it's easier to swim on their back than it is to swim forwards. A good life jacket should also have a life light on it because you never know that you may have to go overboard at sea and here you see the jackets on these uh, two guys towards the front of the camera here flashing away quite happily. It's not always possible to get onto the life raft from the boat itself and you may have to get into the water. Here you see the instructor demonstrating how to efficiently get into the life raft, remembering that the steps for it, as soon as you put your feet on the canvas straps, will tend to slide underneath the life raft itself. Now it's the student's turn. Not exactly the most graceful way to get in, but at the end of the day, if it's going to save your life, who really cares? It's not easy to get into the laugh, raft, but with correct technique, you can do it. 
these are young people, so they make it a lot easier than I was able to do it. But once you master the technique, there really is no problem at all. It's always better to get the strongest and fittest person into the life raft first so that he can help the others. Remember, of course, sitting in this environment, we are just in a pool um, where the sea, inverted commas, is not exactly throwing you around. Just doing a bit of slow motion here. Another important factor here is when you get into the water, obviously the waves are blowing around and your body has a natural tendency with a life jacket on to swing towards the waves. And here the students are being told to ask to hold their nose and mouth with their hands while being splashed. This is used to emphasize the importance of having a spray hood. It's just very uncomfortable and with a spray hood it makes life a lot easier and can prevent secondary drowning. In this sequence of shots remember the life raft doesn't always necessarily want to behave itself and here the life raft has been inverted and students are being taught how to write the life raft from within the water. And everybody takes turns. We had 10 people on this course, so we had tended to have six in the life raft while the others watched and then we did a swap round. Here students are being taught how to keep together in what we call the crocodile where in fact everybody links their legs round and then learns how to swim backwards. It's important that people stay together in a group and don't get separated. It becomes quite a challenge when the two groups are racing against one another. Here the instructors explaining how to write the life raft. And the life raft manufacturers very, uh, very helpfully put straps at the bottom so that uh, it makes this exercise much easier. This is an Avon life raft, six man, in a valise. And it's a very good life raft with an inflatable floor. Life rafts come in all shapes and sizes and also price points. Like most things, buying cheap isn't always necessarily an efficient way 
When buying a life raft, you should look out for the RYA mark and the ISO mark. This life raft has an inflatable floor, which, should you be in the situation where you're at sea for some time, is protecting you from the cold more than, say, a single skin one. Towards the back end of the course, we split the groups into two teams. And simulate as much as we can in a pool environment, rough water. So the first team gets in, writes the life raft, while the others are being constantly splashed by the rest of the group. We turn the lights out to try and simulate darkness. And I can tell you that this is really quite funny with everybody trying to outdo one another, but has a serious point. You'll also notice the light on the top of the life raft, which is activated uh, by water. It's incredible, even in this situation, how tired and exhausted you become pretty quickly when you've got any, everybody trying to, to splash you with water and to keep you out of the raft. One can only imagine what it must be like to actually do this in a live situation in a rough sea. You can't see it at the moment, but there was two hose pokes playing on the guys as well at the same time. You can see everybody let's rip. Even the guys doing all the splashing are, uh, are beginning to wear themselves out. Oh, the instructor comes down and lends a hand as well. And we got the hose pipe coming up in the right hand side of the of the screen. And the key to this here is to close the door of the life raft as quickly as possible to avoid getting water into the raft. And there you go, they've sh just about shut it all up. Next group in. Anything that comes to hand that can make additional splashing was found. Oars from the kayaks, buckets, Slowly but surely, everybody's getting into the raft. So you can see that the uh, the students think that their colleagues should uh, 
have just as much as they had. The chap with the paddle on the on the left hand side there. Make it as realistic as you possibly can. And let's be honest, we hope that the only time that anybody has to get into a raft in this situation is in the classroom. Or more to the point, in the safety of a pool. Where it's warm and you can always swim to the side. A little bit of gusto going now with them rocking the, ri the life raft, trying to simulate the waves. Oh, go on, and just, just, just throw the bucket in there. Let's just fill the whole life raft up. Why not? Okay, so this is coming to the end of the course now. You'll see that people have now got rid of their wet weather gear, and what we've done is inverted the life raft, and the guys are now going to get inside it while underwater. The next sequence of shots actually shows them escaping from the raft or getting out of the raft while it's upturned. And also people on the inside. The Sea Survival Qualification is an essential part of the RYA ISAF Offshore Safety Course and is also required for all those seeking commercial endorsement on a Coastal Skipper or Yacht Master Certificate of Competence Qualification. It's also required for the Advanced Powerboat uh, Certificate as well. Understanding how to use the life raft is important. And as many motorboaters are now going much further afield and like to carry a life raft, knowing how to use it, how to deploy it, and what's in it is going to be vital. Most life rafts, particularly the canister type, need to be serviced at least three, at three yearly intervals. And it is possible, when you have your life raft service, to go to the service centre and see this taking place. You can also have put into your grab bag or into the life raft itself additional items that you may personally require. If you suffer, for example, from asthma or need to have an inhaler, you can put one of those inside the life raft. Spare pair of glasses, something of that nature. Here you see the guys inside the life raft being having a little bit of a lecture on what to do to get out. You can see how dark it is. Can you imagine this being upside down in a rough sea? I don't really want to imagine it, but uh, you never know. One day it may happen. Five Star Marine is a power-only centre 
and we tend to run our sailing courses in conjunction with our sailing partner, Commodore Yachting. As many motorboats now carry life rafts, we will also be offering family sea survival courses, whereby families or two families can come along together and effectively understand what to do should they require or need to have to get into the life raft. More and more people are crossing the channel. And while the chances of things happening are fairly small, the children knowing how to get in and out of a life raft and what to do once on board can be of great benefit. The instructor at the end of the course. Thanks for taking time to watch this short video. If you've got to the end, well done, and you can contact us for more information.